Qatar, the nation with opulence and vast reserves of oil and gas with a GDP of 179.7 billion USD. But hold on to your hats, because despite Qatar's boundless wealth, that jaw-dropping sum we just talked about barely scratches the surface compared to the riches of the Qatari royal family led by the Thani dynasty. Today, in this video, we're about to dive headfirst into the world of opulence and luxury that defines the Qatari royal family. They're not just any royal family, they're among the top five wealthiest royal families on the planet. So let the adventure begin. Oh, oh wait, remember to subscribe our channel for more extravagant journeys. The history in Qatar dates back to the early 1700s, and today, the Al Thani royal family boasts an estimated 8,000 members. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, the Al Thani family, driven by a spirit of independence and unyielding determination, solidified their position in quarter. Now, hold on to your seats, because here's a jaw dropping revelation. Reports suggest that the Qatari royal family holds a colossal net worth of $335 billion. Yes, you heard it right. Their investment portfolio spans the globe, including iconic landmarks like London's Shard Skyscraper, the Olympic Village, the world-famous Harrods Department Store, all in the United Kingdom, and even the iconic Empire State Building in the heart of New York City. These are the grandiose ambitions of the Althani royal family, and their wealth knows no bounds. Now, Qatar's journey has cracked the code for turning black gold into education. Meet Sheikh Abdullah bin Ali Ali Al-Laini, a member of the royal family who also happens to be a university lecturer. He's been the brain behind Qatar's strategic vision. As they say, when the oil well starts running dry, Qatar has transformed into a self-sufficient economic powerhouse. They're recycling gas and oil into knowledge, erecting universities, revamping their education system, raising the bar on vocational training, and even establishing international forums to unearth the most effective and fitting pathways for innovation. The Al Thani royal family has undergone four transitions of leadership, each time marked by an abdication of power. Fast forward to today, and at the helm of Qatar is the youthful Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. At the age of just 42, he's not only the youngest reigning monarch in the world, but also the owner of a staggering $2 billion fortune. And that's not all. His investment ventures include holdings in heavyweight institutions like Barclays Bank, British Airways, and the automotive giant Volkswagen. But here's where the plot thickens. Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the former Emir of Qatar, played a pivotal role in the nation's development at large wealth of the Al Thani royal family in particular. Before passing the torch, he set up the Qatar Investment Authority, a sovereign wealth fund entrusted with managing the nation's surplus from oil and natural gas. This fund and its subsidiary companies went on a spending spree, acquiring numerous foreign enterprises. That shopping list includes iconic names like London's upscale Harrods department store, the renowned Printemps department store in Paris, a whopping 75% stake in the Miramax Film Studio, a 2% share in the media conglomerate Viventi, errant company of Universal Music Group, and even a 1% stake in the luxury goods powerhouse Louis U. Witten Mowat Hennessy, among other major corporations. This is a dynasty that knows how to diversify and make its wealth work for them. The Secret Mountain Palace and the Beachfront Mansion The Qatar royal family keeps their lifestyle quite private, as do many royal families around the world. According to sources, they seem to be building a mountain palace in Oman, situated at an elevation of over 2,000 meters above sea level, offering breathtaking mountain views. The construction for this project is being handled by Generic Engineering Technologies, a company based in the capital city of Doha. The Quaters Prince also owns another grand mansion near the beach in Muscat, while the interiors of both have never been disclosed to the public, you can be sure they are as opulent and luxurious as typical mansions of the super-rich around the world. The Colossal Mansion Estate The Qatar royal family resides in the opulent Qatar royal palace in Doha, adorned with gold and consisting of 15 different palaces, along with a parking area for over 500 cars, with an estimated construction cost of around 1 billion used dust. In 2019, the Crown Prince also constructed another lavish palace in Oman, using similar materials to the Doha Palace. The royal family's residences are incredibly luxurious. Shikai Moza bint Nasser al Misnit, the former queen of Qatar, purchased a Cornwall Terrace home for 80 million British pounds and an additional 40 million pounds for Cornwall Terrace numbers two, 
in three, these 19th century mansions boast seven bedrooms, 11 reception rooms, nine bathrooms, a beauty salon, an entertainment complex, a gym, and an indoor heated swimming pool, complete with an extravagant wine cellar. Meanwhile, the adjoining Cornwall Terrace, two three features, six bedrooms. The collection of supercars that makes the world dream. From the get go, the Al Thani Royals have been known by car enthusiasts worldwide for their job drop in supercar collection. However, it seems like they're a bit been there. Done that as they've put quite a few of their prize cars up for sale. They've got a red LaFerrari cover, $1.4 million and not one, but a LaFerrari Apertai, $5.3 million. When it comes to Lamborghinis, they've got a white Lamborghini Centenario Coupe and a Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, adding up to a cool $3.8 million. In the Mercedes McLaren Porsche department, the Cater Royals own a Mercedes, AMG G63 6XX AMG, about $600,000, a McLaren P1, $1.1 million, and a silver Porsche 918 of $2 million. So, you could say they've got quite the garage. Chiron is one of those cars that not everyone can afford due to its sky-high price tag and exclusivity. But for the Cater Royal family, nothing is out of reach. The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 worth about $4.3 million, is also part of the Thani Supercar collection. And that's not all. They own not one, but two Bugatti Devos, with a total price tag of over $10 million. One of the rarest supercars, with only a mere 40 ever made. Talk about luxury overload, right? But wait, there are plenty more impressive names in this high-priced car collection, including the Lamborghini CNFKP, 37 Ferrari Monza SEP2, and an Audi SQAU, and Audi SQS7 SUV. The All Fanny Dynasty is also famous worldwide for their love of flaunting supercars on the extravagant streets of cities like glamorous Paris or Chick London. One of the most renowned supercar enthusiasts in the Qatar royal family is none other than the youngest brother of the current crown prince. Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad bin Khalifa, Al Thani Te -e. Nearly all the most famous names in the Qatar royal family's supercar collection we just mentioned belong to the Al Thani dynasty. His multi-million dollar supercar fleet is the stuff of legends. You'll often spot the Al Thani supercar fleet at luxurious hotels, with license plates like K. Lee Fa and Ki HQ rotating on many of his cars. The Billion Dollar Super Yacht Collection it's no surprise that the Al Thani family also owns the extravagant super yacht Carrada, valued at a whopping $384 million. Carrada is known as one of the largest super yachts in the world and is part of the assets of former Emir Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani is certainly not lagging behind his father when it comes to owning extravagant yachts. He possesses the $500 million super yacht Al Lusail, named after the planned city in Qatar. Previously known as Jupiter, this vessel stretches 123 meters long, surpassing even a soccer field in size. It offers spacious accommodations divided into six decks for 36 guests and a crew of 56 decks and a crew of 56. Al Lusail is one of the largest yachts globally, equipped with amenities like a gym, a cinema, and a beauty salon. With its lavish interiors and luxurious features, Al Lusail is the perfect yacht for entertainment and socializing. But wait, there's more. The Emir also owns the $300 million yacht Al Mercat, which Forbes magazine once hailed as one of the most beautiful yachts in 2008. Dubbed the Floating Palace, this super yacht boasts 12 stater rooms, two swimming pools, passion for the arts. While many other princes chase the glitz and glamour of supercars, super yachts, extravagant adventures, and luxurious hotel stays, the sister of the Crown Prince of Qatar, Sheikh Al, Mayasa bint Hamad bin Khalifa, Al Naya, pours her heart into the world of art. Chike Al, Mayasa's wealth and her role as the chairperson of the Qatar Museums make her a prominent figure in the art world. In 2012, Forbes declared Al Mayasa as one of the 100 most powerful women in the world. She was also hailed as the most influential figure in the art world by Art Auction securing a spot in Art Review's list of the top 100 most influential people in the global art scene. Bloomberg reports that the annual budget for the Cater Museums Authority is estimated to be around 250 million USD. Sheikh Hay Al, 
Mayasa emphasized the significance of art to society and asserted her goal of creating a local art collection to contribute to shaping Qatar's cultural identity when she appeared at TED in February 2012. In addition to Sheikh Abdullah bin Ali Ali Al Thani, another member of the Qatari royal family has shown significant interest in comprehensive education, the former first lady, Sheikha Moza, who also happens to be Sheikha Mayas' mother, has taken on the responsibility of establishing several world-class institutions in Doha, including Virginia Commonwealth University, Georgetown University, Northwestern University, Northwestern University, Northwestern University, Texas Aiton University, Will Cornell Medicine, Qatar, and the University of Calgary in Qatar. The other half of this secret lies in the astute management, strategy, and far-sighted vision of the Al Thani family. They didn't stop at developing their economy based on oil resources, but made strong investments in other fields like education, technology, and finance, ensuring that Qatar would continue to thrive even as its oil resources dwindled. Achieving independence in 1971, Qatar embarked on a promising new chapter in its history, continuing to prove that the Arab spirit, with its determination, resilience, and belief in core values, would always guide and inspire them on the path of development and prosperity. In doing so, the Al Thani family and the royal family of Qatar have demonstrated the rise of a nation where astute management, sustainable strategies, and intelligent investments have built an empire that's not just rich financially, but also socially and culturally vibrant. The Arab spirit has helped them maintain their ethics and traditional values, while innovation and a keen sense of perspective have propelled them towards the future. Perhaps it's not too difficult to explain why their position consistently ranks them among the wealthiest royal families in the world, don't you think? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to support us in creating more videos. Thank you, and see you next time 